Do you fight better when it's a little bit emotionally charged? I'm a fight at the top of my level. Man. What's up, y'all? That's the press conference. Jamal, Jamal Charlo, Andre, and Benavidez brothers. Let's get right into it, man. I've already kind of got into it, but I thought I'd join my, uh, my YouTube fan, man. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's get it. We already on Twitch. What up, Twitch? Got my, got the chat in this bitch, so what's happening? You know, they talk shit or not. Like, something wrong with dude, obviously. He got a few screws missing. He must don't know what he's getting okay. himself into. But I brought you that coat, it's, I promise it's too. okay, bro. I'm happy for the Ben and ass family. Like, me and David always say like, what's up to each other. We've been knowing each other for a while. We're fighting on the same cars together. We, 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 you know, we, of course we competitors. You know, uh, Demetri is sitting right here. We competitors too. We talk about fighting all the time. But for some reason, this dude just got so much to prove. But we'll see once we get in there, he's going to end up being just like everybody else. In terms of what, when you, when you mean about... 32 to try, 32 to try. So you're looking at another name in your resume on Saturday. He's just a stepping stone. I'm going to step on super hard. I'm going to crush him. Jose, when he says you're a stepping stone, um, you know... Low key, I think Jamal is for real. He's more immature, but I feel like he's the better fighter out of the Charlo brothers. And I, and I feel like Canelo cherry picked uh, um, Jamel. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to uh, tell the difference between them two. But yeah, I think I think Canelo definitely dodged Jamal. I think he should have fought Jamal. One, he's undefeated. Jamel had one loss. So, it's like, I don't know, we're gonna see. Oops. I don't wanna do that. You, know, you fought some top guys throughout the course of your career. You're battle tested. You come from that amateur background. You also have dealt with your know, adversity in your life, like you both have, and overcome that. If I was a stepping stone, why didn't he put the bell? Why didn't he make an excuse? If I was such a stepping stone, he's he back in the ring. business, right? He's back in ring. the business. You wasn't ranked first off. Okay, it don't matter. Okay, who they the fuck? When's the last time you knocked someone out? You talking about the last time? Hey, bro, it don't matter. It don't fucking matter. You wasn't ranked. You should fight anyway. You should be ready. You're, you're the champion, I'm right? Ready. You're the champion. You look like a fucking a bum, bro. I'm, I'm giving you. I'm a bum. I'm a beat your ass. I'm a fucking. You're not gonna do shit. Okay. Shut up. You ain't gonna do shit. Okay, I'm gonna slap you on fucking. Plant smack your ass. Who fucking smack your ass? Dude, you been slapped by everybody. You're a fucking bitch. Jose, Jose, why do you feel? I got punched by who? Why you keep standing up like you tough, bro? bro uh, Jose, bro, Jose, you Jose, 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 why you keep standing up like you gonna do okay, something? Right uh, Jose, 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 can, can, can we get back? Your money. I, your Jose, don't want to lose your money, bro. Shut the fuck up, uh, Jose. You ain't gonna Jose, if we can, um, this is, hey, this Jose, is clown shit. <laughs> Jose, why do you? Let's just have a good press conference, bro. You not? Make your fucking eyes excuse You got it, bro. You got it, man. Oh, Jose. You're, you're making yourself yeah. look stupid as hell. Anyways. You are on drugs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, gentlemen, it is clear that there is bad blood drugs, between yeah. these two. And uh, we will now focus our attention on uh, our main event. That's just the co-main event. Can you believe that? Talk about a happy early day, early holiday present for all of us, uh, Charlo and Benavides is the epitome of being an emotionally charged fight. All right, let's get to our main event for the interim WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. My goodness, this is such a good fight that I think without question, we are going to get uh, something riveting inside the ring. Uh, two guys who have a lot to prove, who fought some high level competition. This man, a 2008 United States Olympian from Providence, Rhode Island, looking to become a three division world champion coming off of a victory over Damon Nicholson in the super middleweight division back in January. Uh, no question, uh, a slick southpaw who has some pop. 32-0, and 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade. Yo, 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 mic check, mic check. Whew, that was funny. Some good action going on. Can't wait. Saturday, 25th. 
get your popcorn ready. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, all glory due to the most high, of course. Excited for this bout. Been patiently waiting. And here we go. Like I said before, this is the greatest fight that could be made at 168 pounds right now. Me and David Benavides, two people that was willing to, you know, um, put a handshake out there and make it happen. No fuss, no fight. And I'm just excited to be ready to go. So um, I'm glad nobody got injured. Everybody have safe travels. And we're getting ready to fight, baby. It's war time. Thank you. Demetrius Boo Boo. You don't never want to argue. Spice things up. Android. And now we welcome the uh, interim WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World. His record, 27 wins, no losses. 23 wins coming by way of knockout. A two-time Super Middleweight Champion of the World. The youngest ever Super Middleweight Champion in the world in history. At 20 years of age. Holds wins over the likes of Anthony Durrell, also Ronald Gavril. Most recently, a, a very exciting and, and a you know an impressive victory against Caleb Plant back in March. In and he's only 20. No shit. Wild. Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated David El Monstruo Benavides. Hello, I just want to tell everybody, you know, thank you for showing up. Also want to uh, thank uh, Al Heyman, Samson Lukowitz, my father, Jose Benavides, David Garcia, my wife, the whole team Benavides family. Um, this is a great way to close out the year. I feel like this is going to be the best card um, because everybody has so much to, to prove on this card. You got my brother, you got Charlo, you got Demetrius, you know, you got the guys in the beginning. This is going to be an amazing card, and we're definitely not going to disappoint the fans, in my opinion. These two fights right here, the co-main event and the main event, could be the fights of the year. So we're just looking forward to giving the fans what they want to see. And um, November 25th, baby, buy that pay-per-view. It's going to be uh, definitely, it's going to be war with all of us. Thank you. Yes, what a way to close out 2023. Premier Boxing Champions doing it in a grand fashion on Showtime pay-per-view, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time. I'm going to start with Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. Boo Boo. You've been asking and clamoring for a big fight your entire career. You hold some impressive victories, but now you get that massive opportunity that you've always coveted. As we're merely days away, how are you feeling? Now your name is on the marquee in Las Vegas on a big time pay-per-view event. Now I feel good, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mic check, mic check. I'm on my Chalo ship right now. We about to fuck shit up over there. We about to hold the whole Benavides family gonna be getting hurt. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, we gonna beat up Lord Farquaad over there. You know what I'm saying? If you guys know what that is, then you know. If you don't, then you don't. But look it up. You feel me? But it's gonna be a great night. It's time for war, baby. What? And still, and new. Yeah. He's already in game mode already, and we're not even uh, anywhere near Saturday night just yeah. yet. He has a few more days to wait. Boo Boo, he said one thing about there is mutual respect between both you and David that he stated that, you know, he wanted to fight whoever it was, but you're the one who immediately accepted and came to the table when no one else was really wanting to, yeah. you know, meet him inside the ring. Listen. Of course. How long he been slept on? This guy right here is a monster. Slept on. I don't know what he's gonna do this Saturday, but I'm gonna see some shit. But Benavidez is a beast too, so. What time, baby? I don't know what you're talking about. It's time to fight. That's it. Um, Dave and I just agreed to make this shit happen and now we're here i mean at the end of the day i have nowhere to go he has nowhere to go and make me the best fighters fight each other and that's what we proving and that's what we doing so i don't know what else to well i appreciate it demetrius david for you why do you feel that this is the best fight to make in the super middleweight division. 
Because, you know, he's the top of the division. You know, he's, um, he showed the world that, you know, he's really good. The only thing that's shitty about this fight is that they are friends. They get along hella good. So there really ain't no shit talk. Fighter, he was Olympian, two-time world champion. And this is the only direction I thought that it was, uh, that I could go to, to prove myself that I am the best. And um, he's not a, he's not an easy opponent. He's very um, technical. He has very good defense, but you know, I always find a way to win. And Saturday's not gonna be no different. I'm gonna find a way to beat not his ass. Not over here. I'm gonna beat his ass. Hell no. No. So, hell motherfucker, no. I mean, it's, it's all fun and games, but when I get in there, this shit's oh, not yeah. funny. Oh, you over I know. send all my opponents to the hospital. Look at my track record. You ain't doing Look at Caleb. Look at Lemuse. Look at all of them. They, he was small. He, he, was, he was small. I mean, I don't know what this Caleb, guy's talking Caleb, about. Caleb is cool, too. <laughs> Caleb could box right. a little bit, but just I ain't yeah. Caleb. It's all fun and games to get in the ring with me. I'll yeah, you sure? You know, hey, two division, 2000 Olympian, it's all fun and games till we get in there. I already know. You ain't say nothing. I already don't know. David, your father predicted in the first press conference he feels that the fight will end in the eighth round. Uh, are you sticking with that prediction of what your father had uh, sort of prognosticated back about a month ago? Um, I'm going to try to strike as soon as I get the opportunity to strike. Um, I'm going to try to end it you know, as early as I can because I want to show the people that I am the best fighter and I will find a knockout to everybody. And um, this is what the, the fans want to see. They want to see knockouts and they want to see people go to war. And we can go heart for heart, but I'm going to end up victorious on Saturday. Boo Boo, you're undefeated. You've never tasted a defeat, and yet they are proclaiming that they are going to end your night a bit early. Uh, your response? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's definitely opportunity that I can have um, David Benavides walk into a lot of things to end the fight early. So, yeah, it's all good with me. We get paid, we go home, we celebrate, have a good time, go home, celebrate, have a good time, go home, celebrate. <laughs> Being in Las Vegas on a card of, of this magnitude, does it get the juices flowing a little bit more, or does it not matter where you fight this man? No, of course Vegas is uh, this is mecca. It's uh, you know the marquee thing is the sport of boxing. We about to make history come to 25th. Everybody on this card is about to make history some way somehow. David, you told us that you know you had a what a performance in March on Showtime pay per view. That was your name was on the marquee there, headlining the pay per view event. With this being your second go around headlining status, uh, have you been able to handle it differently? Uh, you know, do you enjoy it more? Or, you know, what is the whole process like for you? Yeah, honestly, it's the same thing. I just trained as, you know, my last fight, I got even more motivation because it was my first pay-per-view fight. Now that I'm here at the pay-per-view stage, I just want to stay here, keep working hard, and, you know, keep giving the fans the fights they want to see um, and keep fighting the best in the world. All right, now I believe I'm going to turn it over to questions from the media for the for our fighters. Lance Pugmire, it's all you. David, I know we talked about this a little bit, but you know, Demetrius is such a complicated. David, I know we talked about this. Blah, 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 blah. His opponent, his being southpaw, crafty, smart, and so experienced. Did you take this fight so you could not only prove it to the fans but prove it to yourself? how good your talents are in the ring? Yeah, that's 100% that's correct. Um, I just want to shut all my critics up, and I definitely just want to show myself, too, that I am the best. I mean, obviously, these guys are really good. They, they have a lot of accolades, but, you know, these are the type of fighters I want to fight. Want... Didn't he really say he was 20? I, hold on, let me look this up, man. There ain't no way. 20? Y'all know what I was doing when I was 20 years old? Yeah, it's 20. He's 26. Look, I, I swear they said 20. I want to fight the best, and I want to beat the best. Manuk? Jose, you've had a very long layoff as well, too. You've been through a lot outside of the ring. They all uh, have. We talk about the energy and mental makeup. Uh, what They've all had a long layoff. Uh, besides David. Andre, no, nah, Andre just fought but Charlo and uh, the other Benavidez. They both had layoffs, so yeah. I think Charlo got him, though. What, what kind of energy are you getting from Jamal? Because it's definitely different than uh, what we've experienced throughout his entire career. 
Uh, I mean, I haven't. I've been in the gym. You know, I've been in the gym. I've actually I was training one day. I was getting ready for a plan. I actually uh, fought not too long ago, so I feel like I'm I'm ready to go. I'm I feel good and. I mean, I'm, I'm done with all this talking, all this talking back and forth, this and that. I'm ready to fight. Marcus Hayes. Jamal, you've been out of the game for 30 months. What exactly has the boxing public forgotten about who you are that you'll remind them of on Saturday night? That I, I fight hard um, each and every round. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm coming to knock them out. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask the fighters for one final uh, comment. And also, I, I want to know, I'll start off with you, Jose Benavidez Jr. In a perfect world for you, how does the fight end against Jamal Charlo in the co-main event on Showtime pay-per-view in Las Vegas, Michelob Ultra Arena? And like I said before in all other interviews, I'm gonna stop him and that's what you're gonna see. Uh, Charlo thinks that I'm small for some reason. Uh, he thinks it's gonna be a walk in the park. We'll see. That's all I gotta say. Well, I'm gonna beat him, and he's gonna see what he's really faced against. Jose Benavides Jr., Jamal Charlo, the undefeated Jamal Charlo, returning to competition. Your prediction for Saturday night? Just go out, do my thing, uh, listen to my trainers. We come up with a perfection um, on the game plan, so we don't have to. I, I'm really not really worried about him. I, I don't think he's small. I, I know he's small. Small minded, small everything, everything about him too little for me. So big Charlo is back. Well, that is our co cool main event, Charlo and Benavides Jr. Now our main event, the undefeated two guys who are unbeaten, Demetrius Bubu and Drade. Will you become a three division world champion and how? Yeah, um, just wanna thank the Benavides family for giving me the opportunity to become a three division world champion. And just um, how it's going to happen is by winning, by, you know, um, energy, cause, getting groovy, and having fun, and staying loose of. And it's me again. Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade, looking to become three division world champion. And now the interim WBC super middleweight champion of the world, David Benavides. I know we talked about it, but for you, perfect world. David, how does the fight conclude? Um, all I know is that I've worked extremely hard this training camp. I've been training for three and a half months. And I put everything into this training camp. I know what's in front of me. I know he's a great fighter, but I'm gonna strike at 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 every when I see the openings. You know, I'm gonna try to knock him out. You know, um, I'm putting everything into this fight, and um, I'm gonna give the fans what they want to see. They want to see a war, so let's go to war. What a great card, ladies and gentlemen. David Benavides, Demetrius. I respect David, man, because he went ahead and took on a uh, plant, and he wanted he, he should have had uh, Canelo. And he went out there and said, fuck it, I'll take Plant. You know what I mean? That was, hey, I felt like that was stand-up shit. You know what I mean? Because I could tell he really ain't even want that fight. He, wanted, he wants Canelo. This is what all this is for. So I'm expecting him to win. I hope he doesn't because I fuck with Andre. I've been fucking with him for a minute. Uh, plus, you know, he's undefeated, he's undefeated, it'll be a dope little fight, uh, but uh, I do want to see him fight Canelo to whoop that ass. Boo Boo Andrade, we will now have our face-offs here between our co-main event and our main event. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, we will have the open media workouts in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay Saturday night. Showtime pay-per-view, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time, presented by Premier Boxing Champions, promoted by TGB Promotions and Samson Boxing. Now we will have our ceremonial face-off here in Los Angeles. One scoop of AG1 replaces multiple supplements with 75 high quality.
Tyler look faded. Andre went got him some Gucci's. See? This motherfucker gonna generate some money. I promise you, this bike gonna generate that bag. Motherfuckers gonna be like, damn. Look at Charlo's ass, boy. He for real. He ain't even he like, man, I ain't fucking with bro. It's been a journey, you know. The main thing that I've learned this whole time was patience. I got ready on my own term. I'm back in the ring on my own term. I'm going to face my battles at my own time. I'm just excited to be back. Back where I belong. Words can't even explain how, how happy and, you know, how excited and how motivated I am. Like, I feel that I'm at the weight I'm supposed to be at. It's my time. It's a thrill to shock the world once again and let people know why I'm on top. Benavidez, he's out there. He has to make a name for himself. So, of course, talking shit to me would be like the best thing you want to do. He's been talking yeah. a lot of trash for a good while. You a bitch, you this, you that, you from this, you know. I said what I had to say. You stink. And I, I meant what I said. But I'm taking it personal. If you can't take the heat, then choose another sport. Just want you want this to be oh. your, your biggest rival, let's do it. I don't really see anything special in him, to be honest with you. I hate harder than him, that's for sure. And don't get it fucked up, I ain't no big Charlo fans, neither. I really ain't fuck with him at first, but, uh, you know what got me to fuck with him was their, uh, their blogging, their YouTube. Just being the personal life and shit. I, I did start fucking with him on that side, but boxing tip, they a little too cocky for me. I don't like all that. Especially from him. Is the, the little Charlo, he, he don't really be talking that much. I actually uh, salute him uh, for fighting Canelo. That was dope, you know what I mean? He really went out on a limb to do that, just to hold up their name. So, hey, yeah, I fuck with him after that. But whatever, Jamal or whatever this coming one, boy, you better show up. Because, man, it's like he been... Loop. Sure, have a faster jab. If I hit him flush, I'm knocking him out cold. He's not gonna push me back, that's what he's gonna do. I feel like I'm gonna stop him. I don't know what round, but I'm gonna stop him. I'm coming back after two years, no excuses. There's a lot of people out there saying that I haven't fought people, that I am too small, a lot of doubters. You know, there's always gonna be doubters. Come November 25th this is the night that I shut all the doubters up and prove to the world that I belong here. Las Vegas, here we come. That one gonna be cool. But yeah, uh, appreciate YouTube. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you enjoy the content, I do a lot of car content, a lot of fight content, uh, a lot of sport content. Uh, yeah, just come check it out, and I'll be showing, showing the lifestyle and shit. Um, so yeah. Come check it out, man. Um, we're over there at Mopar again. It's Blocker or uh, Mopar me again, Blocker. My bad. Got my own shit wrong. But it's in the link in the description. Uh, and everything else is is Blocker, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Uh, get at me. Um, yeah, check the page out. Appreciate y'all. Deuces.